Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a clip from the store today, but this is actually more like an intro to my video. I have a review of Under the Sun, plus a little haul from today. So let's get into it. Oh, the intro's still going. Okay, so now let's get into it. Okay, here is the newest, or one of the newest candles from Bath & Body Works, the Under the Sun. And I believe this is a brand new scent. And I'm just going to give you one hint as to what I think this candle smells like. I think it's pretty easy to figure out. But yeah, this is a Laffy Taffy banana or a sugary banana candy. This is what this candle smells like. And if you love banana scents, then you're going to love this. If you love banana candy, then you are going to love this candle. So, along with this banana scent, you're going to get sweet coconut and jasmine. Now, I can't really pick up on the jasmine, but I think the coconut is in there somewhere. The banana scent is the prominent note in this candle, and if, like I said, if you are a banana lover, then you've finally found your banana candle. So, the only other banana candle I have in my collection is also from Bath & Body Works, and it's the Banana Bunk Cake. That's definitely a cakey scent. But what's also in the Banana Bunk Cake is walnut. So you definitely smell that with the cake. You have the banana and the walnut in the cake. One candle is cake, the other is candy. If you're looking for a sweet banana scent, then this is the one for you. So I really like this candle. I like how it's a luminary, and the pattern goes all the way around the candle. I like how it's a pattern and not a picture of a banana under the sun or anything like that, but I happen to like it. It reminds me of wallpaper or a backsplash. It's pulling out beautifully. And now let's talk about the throw. So the throw, I read the reviews online and people are saying it has a strong throw. For me, it doesn't have a strong throw. Sweet Tea Lemonade had a, definitely had a stronger throw. For some reason, I cannot really smell this candle in my room. Uh, maybe I'm nose blind, but I could definitely smell the sweet tea and lemonade. When I step out of my room, I can kind of smell this candle going down the hallway, but I wish it was a little stronger. I'm going to burn this again tomorrow and see if maybe my nose was being stuffed up from allergies today. I would say it's a medium to light throw. But I still enjoy it. And now I am home from my rollerblading. If you watched my last video, I was rollerblading and reviewing the summer collection while trying not to fall. So now I am home and I did go shopping today. I had a coupon, a 20% 20 20 coupon still that I wanted to use. So I used it on four candles and I got, I got Spring Clementine. I love this candle. The packaging is pretty minimal but fancy i like the orange and white it looks like almost wisps of smoke and of course we have the beautiful glass lid they have been doing glass lids for a few years now a couple years uh maybe more and this one is a little less fancy compared to the pink prosecco or pink frosting frosting oh my lord pink prosecco frosting uh lid but this one is still really nice. I like how it's orange. So it is one of their fancier lids because it's glass, but it's not cut in the most intricate way. It's pretty uh, simple, but of course, still nice. And we all love a nice glass lid. However, we really don't like the prices. I think maybe next year, these candles with the glass lids will probably be, will probably be $40. And no, it's not stable. Second candle I got, is another spring clementine out of the four new glass top candles i like spring clementine first followed by i almost said french toast but champagne toast and the blue one and green one uh they're interchangeable i don't like either of them so spring clementine is my favorite and i've seen in a couple stores now the spring clementine has sold out or almost sold out when the sale is at a set price, then these candles are the ones to get. Again, let's test the lid. And another new candle I got is the Beach Weather. 
I really love the label on this. I love how it looks like the light dancing at the bottom of a swimming pool. I think that's really clever. And I love the colors, the blue and I guess the white or light yellow with the vivid bright yellow triangle there. It's color blocking done in a really nice way. And we have the little umbrella with the sun behind it. Really cute Bath & Body Works summer right there. Has a plain white top, sun-dried sandalwood, island coconut, breezy palm trees, crashing waves. That's quite a lot of notes there. Um, palm trees, crashing waves. I'm just going to forget that crashing waves is a, is a scent note. I mostly smell the coconut and a bit of greenery. And I think the sandalwood is in there to maybe add some warmth to it or some creaminess. And the last candle I got is Summer Boardwalk. I had to get it even though I have probably three or four or five in my collection already. But with new packaging uh, comes uh, new purchases. So I love the orange wraparound wallpaper uh, backsplash looking label. I think it's really well done. It's simple but effective in my opinion. I just like the color and that's why I bought it. It caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, salty sweet cream. So I think one reason why I love this candle, it reminds me of Halloween from two years ago. I forget what it was called, Wicked Apple, I think. So yeah, it reminds me of that one. And it also reminds me of Spooky Spider Lane, Spooky Cider Lane. I think they are siblings. I love them both. And I especially like that lid. They, that lid, they need to do something similar this Halloween because this lid was everything. So Spooky Cider Lane was a favorite of mine last year and I can't wait for Halloween. I know, it's, it's summertime now, but, and I'm already enjoying my Firecracker Pop candle, but I'm a Halloween lover, so I don't know. But I also love summer, so can't go wrong with either one. And to continue the theme of fancy lids, here's the Santa Claus lid from last Christmas for the perfect Christmas. It's a little more subdued compared to the Halloween one, but still kind of cute. And here's the snowflake lid from Winter Candy Apple. And I think my count's kind of dirty, but I love this candle. So I have Summer Boardwalk and Beach Weather for my two newest summer candles. And I also picked up a Fresh Jungle Rain body lotion that I found just sitting with the, the Tropical Collection. Someone returned some online exclusives, so I was able to snatch this. And I used a mini reward to pick up the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Hand Cream. So I'm going to enjoy my Firecracker Pop candle right now and I'll probably talk about its throw more tomorrow and I will try the Firecracker Pop Diamond Shimmer Mist along with the Fine Fragrance Mist. So, so that's my video for tonight and I'll talk to you later. Bye!